Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I am back with another Hayden Row haul. This one was from the um, tie-dye tie restock. I'm sorry, I had, <laughs> had a blank for a second. Um, which was on May 7th. Um, so I placed my order on May 7th and I received my package yesterday. So um, let's get started with what I have. So of course, Christina includes her business card. And then she also includes the sticker, make, uh, make Today Count. And then um, she also includes this card here. It says, thank you so much for your order. We appreciate your business and truly hope that you enjoy these scents. Happy melting, Christina. And then um, she also always includes an invoice. So for this particular order, I got all um, souffles and they were each $5.75. So let's start off with the samples that I received. So the first sample is Elixir and that is white tea, citrus, and aloe. Oh, this smells so good. You get that, you definitely get the white tea. And that citrus is just very, um, it's not like citrusy, like pow in your face citrusy, but it's very, um, it's there, but it's very um, like gentle, like a gentle citrus to me. It's not like too overpowering. Like you really get that, that prettiness of the white tea. And then the aloe is coming through. This is very beautiful. Wow. I was going to get this um, because this was on the um, tie-dye uh, list for, for the restock. But I was like, nah, I'm not really sure about that. But now I wish I would have got this. Um, so, hmm. Always go with your first mind, right? So, and then the next sample, you guys already know how I feel about this scent. This is Africa, and this one is Exotic Woods. Um, dry air, must smoke, and it's an incense type of scent. So, um, this is um, a wonderful scent memory for me. Oh. I'm going to make you guys laugh. So, I was in the um, Walmart yesterday. <laughs> And I picked up some sulfur eight. <laughs> I was like, I just have to get it. Now they didn't have the original. They did have the light formula. So the light formula is, formula is a little bit lighter. So it doesn't, um, but you still get that. When I smelled the sulfur eight in the store, I was like, right away, I thought of the scent Africa. Cause you get like that. Um, it has that same smoke type incense smell um, to it. The original formula is what is basically um, would be spot on as far as like if you was to say, oh, what is this a dupe of? It's it would be the original formula, but they were sold out of the original formula. So, ah, this I t and I told my mom yesterday when I was talking to her about the scent memory that this gave me of her doing my hair as a little kid, um, and she was like, wow, like you know, she was like, that's awesome. So, but um. I'm going to move forward because I'll be talking about this scent all day if I don't. And then I got um, Princess Margaret. And Princess Margaret is going to be on the next restock that's coming up for the 21st. And this one is Zing Cherry Juicy Watermelon and it's a hint of effervescence. So let's see. Ooh. You do get that ever effervescence. Ever so slightly. The watermelon and the cherry is what's coming through, which smells really, really good. One second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. That was my daughter. So this one smells really good. Very fruity. Um 
sweet. You get that tartness of the cherry. I think I might have to add this to my list. So now let's get into the items that I actually purchased. And this is black ginger bamboo. And this one is uh, bamboo ginger and exotic musk. I think I, did I? I feel like I purchased this one before. I have so much wax, I can't keep it all straight. Or maybe I had another ginger blend. Um, ooh. Wow. So in terms of the ginger, like, um, it's not like spicy. To me, this is more like a mysterious um, blend. Like I said, exotic, mysterious. You get that little bit of a green note from the bamboo. You definitely get the musk. Oh, this is nice. Very nice. And that's what that looks like. For that one. And then the next one is Black Sea Barbara. And this is Salty Oceanic Accords Amber Vanilla Barbershop 19, 1920 Shaving Cream. And um, the description on the website said that it's a unique, sexy, masculine um, blend. And I do enjoy a good, sexy, masculine blend. Ooh, yeah, this is so good. Mmm. I'm trying to get the um souffle out the tin guys. I guess it does not pay to put lotion on your hands before you start filming because my hands are slippery. There we go. Oh wow. This smells so good. It's very sexy, masculine. Mm. You get that um the amber You get that ocean vibe. Oh, this smells so good. And that's what that one looks like. This um, reminds me of like, you know, um, my husband would be getting ready for work. He takes a shower. He jumps out the shower. He's drying off, getting ready for work, and he would smell like this. I like that a lot. This one is Blue Sugar Vanilla Sandalwood. And this is Caramelized Sugar, Tonka Bean, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. And this one, you get that blue sugar. You definitely get the vanilla sandalwood. It's warm. You get that woodsy note. Mmm.
a little bit sweet. I really enjoy this. Let's see. Okay, and this is what this one looks like. Two different colors. And with blue sugar, to me, I get like, um, to me, blue sugar gives me a, a masculine note. Not super strong, but like a soft masculine. Whereas, for me, pink sugar is more on the feminine side. So I get like a soft feminine when it comes to pink sugar blends. With blue sugar, I get more of a softer masculine Side. that's how it comes off to me to my nose anyway but I enjoy it very much and then this next one is breath of God and I keep forgetting that I wrote the scent notes on the back so I'm not showing you guys I do apologize so this is Melanie Melanie citrus sandalwood uh, cedarwood amber and this is a lush type I get this cedar wood. You get that woodsy um, note. And then I'm picking up the sandalwood. A little bit of citrus. And then it, uh, the amber, this smells really good. This is, to me, cozy. Mmm. And that's what that one looks like. And then this one is Carnival. And this is uh, Sweet Candy Apple, Salted Caramel, and Waffle Cone. <clears throat> Ooh. This is nice. You get that candy apple, the sweetness, the salted caramel. I'm getting the waffle cone. This is sweet, delicious. Um, I get ooey, gooey, sticky. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. Oh, wow. This is super sweet to me anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is wonderful. And that's what that one looks like. Then I have cranberry lime. And this is Zing of Tart Cranberries with Fresh Lime Zest. And you, I pick up the lime. And then the cranberries. 
nice tart fruity blend. And that's what that one looks like. The next one I have is King of Hearts. <clears throat> and this one is Bergamot, Black Tea, Citrus, and Freshly Pressed Laundry. And this one was very interesting to me because... I've had blends with bergamot, citrus. Um, have I had black tea before? Can't recall, I have so many different um, wax melts. But um, I don't think I've had a blend like this before. So let's see. Ooh. It's citrusy. I get the laundry note. And I do pick up the tea. Oh, this smells really nice. This is beautiful. Oh, I should have got a loaf in this. Wow. And I put this back in the tin and didn't even show you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys, if you heard my husband. He is playing his game right now, so he's kind of mad. Um, I guess the play didn't go the way that he wanted it to go. Yes, I think I should have got a loaf in this one. And I think it's sold out currently. So if it is, I'm going to have to hoard this one until it comes back around. So the next one I got is Lifeguard. And this is the Aqua de Jo type um with earthy sea salt fragrance musk ozone light florals bergamot neroli and patchouli and it smells really nice it's very soft um light florals not too overpowering you get that earthiness mm. you get that um the um what was i gonna say i'm sorry guys it's been a long day today <laughs> um you get the musk Definitely getting the citrus from the neroli and the um, bergamot. And you get, um, I'm getting the patchouli in the background. This smells really good. And that is what this one looks like. Next one is, <clears throat> excuse me, Orange Blossom. 
And this is orange clementine flower, orange blossom, water lily, and vetiver. And this one is very heavy on the floral. Um, and I kind of figured it probably would be. Um, I do have another blend from a different vendor that is orange blossoms. And it was very heavy on the floral. Heavy florals do not agree with me. So you probably said, well, why did you pick this up if you know that heavy florals don't agree with you? Um, I just wanted to see if this floral was a little bit more toned down than the other one, but it seems like it's the same um, oil um, as the other blend that I have. So that particular one, I had to literally melt that in my daughter's room and shut the door because um, it was really, really strong. But the good thing is it's nice, but I have really bad allergies so um it can trigger my allergies you know depending on the day um how i'm feeling in terms of if my allergies are under control for that day or whatnot um so i have to be very very careful with floor heavy florals anyway and this one is more on the heavier side it's beautiful But I see this triggering, like right now, I, I, I can't, I have to stop sniffing it right now. Um, I can see this being a, a, a trigger for me. So, um, what I will do is, I have scents, I have certain scents that are like, oh, I can blend this with something else to tone it down or what have you. I can do the same thing with this. Like I said, it is very pretty. But I definitely uh, could see blending this with something else just to kind of tone it down. Um, and allowing me to enjoy it while I have it. Um, now, if this was Jasmine, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that. Um, I would just have to give that to someone else. Like to me, Jasmine, um, strong Jasmine really sets me off. And I can't even... Um, I can't do jasmine at all if it's super strong in a blend because it bothers me. But this one isn't, this one is strong, but it's not as strong as if, if it was a jasmine blend. So I can, like I said, blend this with something else to kind of tone it down some for me. Um, and allow me to enjoy it. But, um, I will keep you posted on how this one does when I do go to melt and blend. And my last one here is Rocket Pop. <clears throat> so, um, I picked up this one because this one also gave me a scent memory. Um, growing up as a kid, you know, in the summertime, playing outside with your friends, you hear the ice cream truck coming and, you know, you go to get your, either your ice cream cone. We as kids, a lot of the times we would get the, the popsicle, which the, and I, were they called Rocket Pops? I think that's what they're called too. Um, but they were the red, white, and blue um, popsicles. So we always used to get those. You also now can actually get them at the supermarket. So seeing th this blend kind of took me back to being a kid playing outside with my friends and having a good time, not having a care in the world, just being carefree, jumping rope, you know, riding bikes, um, skateboarding, having your skates, um, and just being kids. So that's why I got this one. But... The scent notes is lemon lime, blue raspberry, and a pop of cherry, like the tricolor popsicle. <clears throat> Ooh, and it smells exactly like it. Mm. I can see myself, we're all just standing there waiting in line for the ice cream man to take our order. And everybody was asking for the same thing. You did have one or two kids that would get like an ice cream cone, but most of us would get the popsicles. Cause in the summertime, like, you know, you want something cold and fruity. Most most people would rather have like a water ice 
than ice cream. At least in the summertime, I do. I prefer water ice. Oh, so, so good. Very citrusy, fruity, and sweet. Just like, <laughs> just like the, the popsicle. Look at that, so pretty. So I am going to definitely enjoy this one. Another wonderful scent memory. So this is everything from my um, from my uh, haul that I received. Um, she does have Christina does have another restock happening on the twenty first. I believe is at 12 noon um, Eastern Standard Time. So I will definitely put all the information in the down bar below so that you guys can check that out if you're interested. So um, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're notified of the next video that I upload. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.